This right here is the original Sexy Shed Crankbait from Strike King. But for some reason they changed the color pattern and discontinued this one. So, I wanted to bring it back. Here's how I made it. Here's the before and after doing the cut. After I cut out the shape with the saw, I'm going to use my razor blade to actually cut out and shape the actual bait into a more rounded shape. And I freehand this. I don't make any lines or anything like a lot of other people do. I like how unique each bait turns out when I do this. Uh, but I do the best I can to make it as even on every side that I possibly can. I also make the tail section a little thinner than the front because I think that gives a better action with balsa. And this will be the final result. After we have the uh, general shape cut out with the razor, I'm going to use a sanding block to smooth it out and make sure that everything is round. Balsa sands pretty easily, uh, so getting these round in a short amount of time isn't too hard. With a harder wood, it will take a lot more robust uh, sanding, and that's where power tools will really help you. I don't have any. So after I've sanded everything smooth, I'm going to make a center cut down the middle of the bait in order to put in my wire. Again, I don't line anything up, I just kind of eyeball it. I cut down the center of the front, then I cut down the center of the back, and then I join them together. It's not perfect, but it works. After I cut the center line, I can rotate my vise. And I will cut into the bait at an angle where the lip will be. And I'll do this for all of them. trying to get generally the same angle on each one. Again, I'm eyeballing it, so it may not be perfect, but I'm trying to be perfect, so that way the lip slot will go in there evenly. Not too shabby for a whole bunch of eyeballing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is add those weight holes in the bottom like you see in these top two. That's where my lead is going to go. And I also need to punch out a hole in the bill in order for the wire tie to go through. So I'll show you that next. Remember how I said I didn't have any power tools? Well, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. I actually do have a hand drill and a Dremel. So that's what I'm going to use for this next step. I'm actually going to drill a hole through the bill in a pre-marked spot. That way I can run the wire through the bill rather than just through the bait. I feel like I get better action on uh, some of the crankbaits by putting the line tie on the bill instead of through the wood itself. So got my Dremel with a sanding bit in it. And... I want to make sure that I have a spot for the bottom hook hanger to come out. And generally, the best place to put your weight in a crankbait is the center, uh, wherever it's going to pivot when it moves. So I'm going to make a hole with my sanding bit right behind where that hook hanger is going to be.
going to put actual lead split shot right into that spot that I made. Here comes the hard part. I'm going to take some wire. I'm going to measure up about twice the length of the bait. And I'm going to start bending that to be able to go through the lip of the bait and then out the bottom and the rear end so that way it can hang the hooks off of it. Balsa is so light and delicate that a wire through the whole bait is really going to help the integrity of the bait and hold it up and make it last a lot longer than if you were to put screw eyes into the bill and the body and then the tail. Uh, it'll more likely crack in half if you do that. With everything lined up, it's now time for the power of super glue and baking soda. Just kind of shove it in there. Going to add a little to the side of the lip and then some in that crack in the front too. I'm going to make sure that lip doesn't go anywhere. Almost ready to fish. After everything is all lined up and ready uh, to be sealed, I'm going to pour super glue all over the bait. And uh, when you do this, uh, definitely wear a respirator, do it in an uh, open and well ventilated area because super glue is really, really nasty stuff. It'll make you uh, stuffy and feel just bad for days if it gets up in your nose. And when you combine it with a chemical reaction like with baking soda, it's pretty potent. And uh, you can actually feel the bait getting hot if you put your hand nearby it. So I've got a mesh around the bait and I'm going to start out with a blue, which I have in the airbrush. And I'm going to make sure that I can shoot it first. Ooh, it's pretty strong. That's a really bright blue. It might be too much, but we'll see. I don't like the way it's spraying. I think I'm going to reduce it more. So the paint definitely needed more reducer. And it's spraying much better now.
I'm also going to hit it with a hair dryer. Here we go, big reveal. Not bad. Not bad at all. So did the lateral line with the chartreuse. I have the back on a gray pattern with the scales underneath just like the original sexy shad was focus focus told you to focus there we go Okay, so I'm painting the front half of the bottom a more of a egg yolk yellow. And see how loose it's spraying? I'm going to turn down the power on my airbrush so that way I don't get a splatter. Not bad. So I'm going to do the rest of the belly with a pink and I want to try and be delicate with this. I want the pink to show up, but I don't want it to be overpowering. The last paint step are the eyes and dots, and I just hand paint these. Uh, I wish that there was a better way to do it, and if there is one, uh, if you could let me know what that is. Um, but right now what I do is I just paint them on with a tiny brush and uh, hope for the best. I talked to the guys who are going to do the product testing for these baits and they all kind of agreed that gold is the best color for the eye. Uh, the original eye was a bluish, pinkish, it was a little bit of everything. Get a gold dot there and kind of line it up in the same place. Get a gold dot there. Now, Sexy Shed also had a black dot. Uh, in the middle of the bait. So 
so I will add a black dot dead center or as close to dead center as I can whole lot of eyeballing going on There we go. Uh, I'm going to dry this out. I will put a final black dot on the eye, and that's where I'll bring you guys back in. What's up, pup? Enjoying the sunshine? Well, it's official. <laughs>